horses. All right, well, if you don't live under a rock, you're probably aware of the Logan Paul vs. Floyd Mayweather boxing match that was recently announced. Oh, man. Obviously, the internet is absolutely losing their minds, and rightfully so. Floyd Mayweather is noted as one of the best boxers, if There's not the best boxer of all time, and he agreed to go up oh, against God, Logan Paul, the guy who has a professional boxing record of zero and one, and I should mention that that loss is against a YouTuber who has no track record or notoriety as a boxer. So why would Mayweather agree to this fight? Well, I think the biggest clue can be found in his name. Seems like a valid motivating factor, <laughs> but just how much is he getting paid for this boxing match? And just how much is Logan Paul getting paid to fight Floyd Mayweather? And the ultimate question, just how much money is the Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul fight worth? Well, in this video you'll find out. Well, at first I couldn't really find the financial details surrounding this boxing match and kept coming across videos like this one where Keemstar claims on his YouTube channel that a super secret inside source gave him information about the Logan Paul Mayweather agreement. Roll the clip. So my sources are pretty dead on and my source gave me a text message yesterday saying that Mayweather is getting paid $5 million up front and 50% of all the sales of the pay-per-view. Logan is only getting paid 200 k up front and only 5% of all the sales on the pay-per-view. Okay, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, that makes no sense. And this was supported by what Mike Malak, the host of the number one podcast in the world, said about it. Who is reporting this news story? 200 k to get in the ring with one of the, the greatest of all time. And I looked reported by one of the utmost uh, professional reporters in the space, a man by the name of Daniel Keem, also known as Keemstar. <laughs> I'll say this, you're way off with your estimates. Right, so here's the way I see it. Logan has the potential to literally influence entire markets, as shown by the Pokemon live stream and vlogs, which skyrocketed the value of these little pieces of cardboard to astronomical prices that even future space cadet Elon Musk would be impressed with. Hello there. So why would he accept $200,000 to drop everything he is working on and put 100% of his attention towards this fight. And yes, when Logan Paul has a boxing match, he drops everything and goes into fight camp mode where he eats, sleeps, and breathes boxing. Just imagine the opportunity cost of Logan neglecting every other income stream he has established. That means he wouldn't be dropping his vlogs at his typical every other month schedule. That means he wouldn't be signing up additional members to the Maverick Club. And that potentially means no Maverick clothing drops. Jokes aside, accepting $200,000 for the amount of time and effort that this boxing match requires would basically mean Logan Paul agreed to losing millions of dollars. And yes, this type of event definitely comes with some significant free press, but I think with someone like Logan Paul who can literally be trending at the drop of a hat, it doesn't make sense to take such a demanding commitment without significant compensation. And some of you might be thinking, well, $200,000 is a lot of money. But Logan's got a business to run, private chefs to pay, and Maverick team members to support. If he accepted $200,000, the Maverick team might have to start eating ramen, and Mike might be stuck borrowing his girlfriend's Lamborghini forever. So I figured the best way to explain how much everyone is making from this boxing match is to start by explaining the typical compensation structure of a fight. So from my understanding, the traditional boxing matches went like this. A promoter found some fighters. They then approached pay-per-view distributors like HBO pay-per-view or Showtime pay-per-view. The distributor decided if they wanted the fight and then worked with MSO or multiple system operators who control virtually the entire cable universe. And the compensation for all these people looked like this. The boxers were guaranteed an amount, also called a purse, and the distributors got 10% of the pay-per-view, while the cable systems and promoter each got 45%. Boxers have also received bonuses for hitting certain metrics. For example, according to the Nevada Athletic Commission, Mayweather was guaranteed $100 million to fight McGregor, while McGregor was guaranteed $30 million. But due to the numbers that that fight did, Forbes estimates that Mayweather made $275 million and McGregor made $85 million. But honestly, I think a lot of boxing business is changing, which could be accelerated by the new YouTube boxing movement. We are seeing these YouTube boxers' compensation really tied to the pay-per-view sales, and this makes sense. See, traditionally, the cable systems and promoters were expected to drive traffic or actually get people to watch the fight. But when these massive influencers hopped into the ring, they brought with them millions of dedicated fans willing to purchase the fights. 
This combined with the movement of viewers away from traditional media to online means the fight agreement space is getting increasingly dynamic. The pay-per-view and cable companies are no longer needed for distribution and a significant portion of the advertising burden is lifted from the promoters when they're hosting the fight of social media superstars who are constantly plugging the fight and getting a ridiculous amount of exposure through free press. This is why we are actually seeing these social media influencers getting a share of the pay-per-view profits. One, this lowers the level of risk for the promoter or distributor of the fight since they really don't know the numbers that these internet stars are going to pull in. Two, it incentivizes these influencers to actually promote the fight. So as I said earlier, the boxing agreement space is very dynamic and these can be different for each fight. The Logan vs Mayweather fight will be distributed by a company called Fanmeo.com and really we don't know what that agreement looks like but from the sound of things, basically Fanmeo purchases the right to distribute the fight which not only gives them the opportunity to make money from the pay-per-view sales but also advertises their brand and allows them to benefit from the lifetime value of customers who go back to Fanmeo and purchase other events. With previous Logan and Jake Paul fights you might remember DAZN who is promoting the events and broadcasting it through their subscription app that allows users to watch live and recorded boxing matches. So obviously DAZN benefited from a certain percentage of retained viewers who continued paying the subscription fee even after these fights. All right, so FanMeo is selling the fight and we can expect Logan Paul and Mayweather to have a guaranteed purse plus bonuses. But just how much are they making? Looking back at the Logan Paul vs KSI fight, we can see that it had 2.25 million live viewers. The issue here is that 1.2 million viewers were watching illegal streams on Twitch. So the reported pay-per-view buys actually only came out to 1.3 million. One of Mayweather's most viewed fights was against Conor McGregor, and that had about 4.3 million pay-per-view buys. We can also see that based on the price of fanmeo.com that the first million purchases of the Mayweather vs. Logan Paul fight are about $25, and after that $40 with the price going up the closer to the fight it gets. So let's estimate that this fight will receive a pay-per-view average of both of the boxers last matches. That would come out to 2.8 million pay-per-view buys, and at fanmeo's prices that would mean a minimum of about $97 million. That's crazy. But how much of that is going to Floyd Mayweather and how much of that is going to Logan Paul? Well, looking at Floyd's latest fights, his guaranteed purse has ranged from about 32 million to about 100 million dollars. Logan's guaranteed purse from the KSI fight was never confirmed, but luckily Mike from Impulsive gave us some pretty good hints about how much Logan is making off this fight. I'm sorry, I'm fucking like, you're not gonna say it bro like eight figures bro speaking of uh life defining moments getting the ring floyd mayweather 10 million dollars so i feel it is safe to say that he's guaranteed 10 million dollars and i would guess floyd maybe 32 million with a slightly higher share of the pay-per-view buys because floyd does have a promotion company and has leveraged that to put more money in his pocket in his most recent fights it is also important to note that they probably won't make money from ticket sales due to covid which is unfortunate for them because ticket sales for the logan paul ksi fight brought in 3.5 million dollars and over over $55 million for the Mayweather McGregor fight. But I'm sure there are some sponsorship deals that are going to more than compensate for this loss. I think I heard rumors about them teaming up with MaverickClothing.com, but I'm not entirely sure if they were able to secure such a prestigious brand. Anyways, I think this fight has huge potential and could possibly rival the Mayweather McGregor fight. But that fight did have some massive organizations promoting it, so I think it really depends on how much Logan and Mayweather start pushing the fight and also Fanmeo investing into the promo. All right, well, I'm buying the fight and putting 100 bucks on Logan for the W because one, Logan gang and two with the current betting odds or spread i don't know what you call it but that would mean a bet of 100 would pay out 1300 for a 1200 profit <laughs> that's crazy mayweather on the other hand you bet 100 you only get like two dollars profit <laughs> so yeah, apparently this fight is actually going to be serious and they are going to allow knockouts. So yeah, I definitely think Mayweather is going to take it seriously and I hope Logan does too because my guy, my money's on you. All right. Floyd Mayweather, he is going to make a big event for boxing a guy, a YouTube star who's twice his size. Floyd is so much smaller than him. Logan's a big guy. I got the one punch Logan KO. Could you imagine if he did? the one to give Floyd Mayweather an ass kicking, it would be the most insane moment in sports history. The fact that Logan's getting in there with the greatest of all time, he's already won. Watch the shit out of that. I watched it too. <laughs>